these days, this is the sort of interaction you can expect with your teenagers. I hate you, you're embarrassing. Can I borrow some money? <laughs> Just a word about loins. If there's one sure way to disgust your teenagers, it will happen in a conversation about your loins. Steer clear of loins. Teenagers stress test our love, and they make it true through that. Funnily enough, like most things in life, it turns out that we actually cannot control other people. I mean, we can for a while, as long as they fear us and we're bigger than them. But it changes when they become teenagers. We're not as scary as we like to think we are. Yes, I don't know what book hub he is, okay? I don't know. But here's the question. How do I know what it is? Not only are there some nuggets of pure wisdom, but it's just so funny. And and even like, you know, ruffle funny. Does anyone know what ruffle means? <laughs> so any teams that can just laugh at that? <laughs> and I think, I think the goal in Jo's book is really, whether you agree with everything she says in the book or not, is not really the important thing. Uh, the important thing is that it makes you think. You know, there used to be a time when we'd go not in front of the kids, and now they're going right in front of the parents. <laughs> and that's why I've launched a campaign uh, around my book called A Million Connected Parents, where there's a, a Facebook page which I hope you'll go and like and follow and join in some of the conversations that I'm starting to have there with different parents and teenagers. As parents, we have to be the sage in the relationship with our spidery little teenagers who are going to sting us every single time. But we don't get to sting back because if you've got two stingers, everyone's going to drown.